Good morning, it's Laurie from Passionate Penny Pincher and it is day two of Crocktober. I'm so excited because I'm gonna show you a trick that my Crock-Pot can do that I bet your Crock-Pot can't do. So I'm curious to hear if anybody else's Crock-Pot can do this. You can download your totally free Crocktober cookbook, cookbook, the printable version if you'd like, or yesterday on Amazon, this morning I just saw they dropped the price on the cookbook, which is really exciting. So um, if you're interested in a printed version, click the link. It's going to take you to where you can purchase it from Amazon if you'd like to do that. It's normally like um, $15.95 and it's going to be $14.36. I just got mine. It's gorgeous. Let me just show you all. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. It has everything you need to make dinner. It's amazing and it has our dinner prayers. So I'm super excited. As you're hopping on guys, tell me good morning and listen to this because I would love for y'all to get these. Y'all hit the share this button. I will give away two of these cookbooks for every for every 100 shares we have. I'll give away two cookbooks. So if you would um, click the share this button, you might get a cookbook for yourself, but you can also order one today only for $14.36. Good morning, Sarah. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Gina. So glad to see you guys this morning. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what you're making for dinner tonight. And y'all, look at what my crock pot is going to do. I bet your crock pot doesn't do this. I'm excited. Okay, so today we're making homemade broccoli cheese soup and homemade bread. It's going to be a yummy dinner tonight. We're going to start here. Um, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that so much. Guys, tell me where you're from. Tell me what's for dinner tonight at your house. What are y'all having? I hope some of you guys are having this with me. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and chop up my onion. I'm actually going to get my recipe out because y'all, the truth is I cook everything with the recipe. I do not know how to make this from scratch. So I've got my cookbook ready. You can grab yours at the link above. Okay. So I'm going to chop up my onion. Um, and I probably could have done these a little smaller. I'm using this this morning to pulverize these poor little things. I love this little, I got this from Amazon a long time ago. And it is a great up. Look at that. So I'm going to real fast get all of my stuff chopped without having to chop so much. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a stick of butter. If I can find it. That I had out this morning, but of course now I can't find where I put it. We're going to go ahead and melt a half a cup of butter, so a stick of butter, in our crock pots. Now, because I'm using the Ninja and it has a cook setting, look at that, y'all. Do you see what my Ninja is doing? Hang on, i got to turn it down. Is that low? I'm going to have to turn it off. I will tell you, I've never tried this before in here, so we're going to see how it goes. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and we're going to melt that butter, and then we're going to add in the onion. Can you believe, the, look at this, so the crock pot does both things. How fun is this, y'all? Look at that. So my, okay, I'm gonna have to turn it up just a little bit. I've never actually tried this, so this is, but I realized it should do this, so we're gonna trust that it does this. Okay, so we're gonna melt that butter. While that's melting, I'm gonna add in the onion. I'm gonna chop up the rest of the onion. I'm so thankful for fun gadgets. Okay, so there we go. We got the onion ready to go. We're going to go ahead. Oh, y'all, this smells so good already. I love having dinner done. I wish I could give you guys what my house smells like right now. You need to get your dinner done. Go ahead and download your cookbook. But I'm loving that with this Ninja, I can do this all in one place, y'all. Look at that. So I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to saute the onions for about three to four minutes. I'm going to turn this. I've got it cooking on low. I'm going to turn it up to high just because I really want to get this done quickly. So this is going to make your roux for the broccoli cheese soup. Now most of the slow cooker recipes in Croctober don't require any prep work. This is one that does. Um, you know, if you have a regular crock pot that cooks hot, you might be able to do this in yours, um, but I don't, it would take a lot longer than this does. Okay, so there we go. So that's all we had to do, super easy. I'm gonna go ahead and set that back to low. I just was so excited this morning when I realized that I could do this all in one place so you guys can see it. Isn't that awesome? I love it, yeah. Y'all hit that share this button and I will give away a couple of Crocktober cookbooks. I would love for you to win one. I'm so excited. They're also priced at $14.36 today only. Well, at least Amazon dropped them. I don't know how long they'll last at that price, so I was excited. I hope that I was excited to see a deal on them. 
Okay, so now we're going to add in, I think those are probably pretty good. Um, we're going to add in garlic and flour. I'm going to turn this, I'm going to make sure it's on low because it is really, y'all, this thing cooks hot, hot, hot. I will tell you, if you get the Ninja, these suckers will burn the crud out of you. So be careful, because see this right here? I burned my arm on that once and I wanted to cry. It was horrible. So now I'm going to add in um, two cloves of garlic mixed, minced. So I'm being lazy and I'm using the stuff that's already done. And then I'm going to add in, I got a good stir. Oh, y'all, it smells so good. Who else wants some broccoli cheese soup? So yummy, y'all. Oh, thank you for sharing. Thank you. Yeah, it's it smells so good. Anita, I wish you were here. I would love for you to just be here having dinner with me because it smells so good. So now we're going to add in six tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And y'all know I'm using my all-time favorite Utensi wooden spoons. People always ask me about these. These are the best. Um, we will put a link for these in. I love them. I think I'm on four, five, six. So this is a tablespoon. Isn't that awesome? I love it. Okay, so here's these. And now we're just going to add this in. And then I'm going to add in a little salt and pepper to flavor it as well. And I have to tell you guys, I am not a chef. I totally just read recipes and figure out how to do them. Um, so this is really easy. Okay, we're going to cook this for two minutes, it says. I think this is going to cook really fast. I'm going to turn this back on. If I was normally doing this and not trying to show you guys, I'd have it the other way, but I wanted you to see it. How fun is this? Hey, Judy, I just saw my friend Judy Key is on. Judy, I took your advice today and I chopped up our onion really finely so that my kids won't know it's in there. Yesterday I said, make your onion not too small and that way your kids can eat around it. But today I chopped it so small they'll never know that it's in there. So that is hopefully a better choice. You have a special insert that comes, Jenny, with one of your crock pots that does this. Isn't it amazing to have it be able to cook all in the same thing? Okay, so we're going to cook this for two minutes. I'm going to try to, wish there was a way to make it go faster. It is cooking really fast in here. So I will say these ninjas cook really, really quickly. Yours is on, Irene. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Who's got their dinner done? Tell me, give me a harder like if you have your Crocktober meal done. And remember, you can print your entirely free Crocktober cookbook at the link above. You can also, today only on Amazon, you can order the real book. I'm so excited. Well, not today only, but they dropped the price last night to $14.36. So if you'd like the cookbook, it's 40 recipes, menu plans, grocery lists, because both volume two and volume one are included, so you're going to get a bunch of recipes to make for dinner. Okay, so this looks to me like it's good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add in some evaporated milk. So we need two cans of evaporated milk. And we're going to whisk this in. Okay? We're going to take a whisk. This is the most prep work any of the Crocktober meals will take. It is worth it because it's going to cook all day long. Um, and you will love it. But it is a lot more work than a lot of the other things. So just be prepared for that. Let me see what I've got this set on right now. I still have it set on low. You're just going to whisk all this in. Like I said, I am not a fancy cook. So the fact that I can do this, there's nothing hard here. Y'all are just going to have to be patient as I get through this. It takes a little while. I'm actually going to probably turn this up to high so it can go a little faster. Okay, so we've got one added in. I'm going to go ahead and turn this up. We just want to make sure it doesn't burn. The thing that I've loved most about this Ninja is that it um, is super easy to clean. It does really, really well. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add the other can in. You see how it's thickening? So we're making the roux. For any of you guys who are not big cooks, this is how to make a roux. And this is really boring, so I'm sorry as y'all are being patient. So stick with me here. Okay, so hopefully this is going to thicken up real quickly. Let's see if I've got this. I feel like it's 
turn down. Okay. Okay, so we're going to cook this now until it begins to thicken. So hopefully it's not going to take too long as y'all are on live. Go ahead and ask, tell me what you're making for dinner, and I'll read some questions while we wait for this to thicken a bit. Hi, Cheryl in, let's see, Cheryl in Iowa. Somebody's, Shannon, you're having broccoli cheese soup too? Oh, I'm so glad you're having it. Okay, Shannon, are you making it, and was it too hard to make? Shannon, I hope, let me know how it was for you making it, if it did okay. It's your, yeah, Teresa, I am so excited. This is one of my favorites too, and my kids like it, and I like that it has, we're gonna have it with homemade um, bread, which I'll show you how to make the homemade bread as soon as this is finished. Tell me what y'all are making tonight. Tell me where you're at too. Your supper cooking, oh, you're making great northern beans. That sounds delicious, Brenda. How yummy. That sounds fabulous. I feel like this is just, let's see. I feel like it's not cooking as hot as it was. Let's see if I turn it off and turn it back on. This is a new thing for me, guys. I have never tried this on here, but it needs to thicken a bit. I would go ahead and finish it. We could, let's see. Good morning, Jace, Jacqueline, your friends. Who? Hey, Amanda in North Carolina. So how many of you guys are joining the Crocktober Challenge with us and making Crockpot recipes this month? I'd love to hear that. Oh, the honey chicken was delicious last night. I will tell you, I overcooked it a little bit. I tend to, I made it in the morning. I'm going to try to, I probably will make this now and then I'm not going to cook it. It is still thickening, y'all. It is taking its sweet time here to thicken. But the honey chicken was fantastic last night. Chicken fajitas in the crock pot. Oh, Teresa, you're in northern Wisconsin, tucked in the woods. That sounds lovely this morning. You're having roast beef, Christy. Sylvia, what are you having? Okay, there we go. Again, you can click the link above. You can get all of these recipes plus menu plans. Like I said, this is taking its sweet little time to get going. After it cooked everything else, I want it to thicken just a little bit more. Oh, there it goes. Now it's thickening. I found it. I just found all the flour over in the corner. You know what I may do? I may use a regular spoon instead of a whisk. There we go. I think this will get. I think I'm not getting the corners out well enough. Now it's going to thicken. I had a whole bunch of flour over there in the corner. There we go. Okay, so now that's thickening up pretty well. Okay. Then we're going to add in five cups of chicken broth. Um, last time I only I added a carton, which is four cups, and it was a little bit thin. So I'm going to go ahead and add it all in. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in. And then I'm going to add in five cups of broccoli. I think that's right. Is that how much that was? I believe that's right. Five cups of broccoli. So now, all of this is done. There's a leaf, the whole leaf there. I guess, I guess it won't hurt us to eat the whole leaf. I don't know. Will it hurt me to eat the whole leaf? It probably won't. Okay, so there we go. So dinner is in the crock pot. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna now turn it down to low, and it's gonna cook six hours on low. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So there we go. So dinner is in the crock pot. Now what happens with this, at the end of the day, I'm gonna add in some milk, or some, sorry, some heavy whipping cream, some cheese, and then dinner, I've got dinner done. I'm so excited. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make homemade bread. How many of you guys make homemade bread? I make homemade bread, but I only make it in my bread machine. I do not make homemade bread um, from scratch without my bread machine because it makes life easier. So I'm gonna scoot our camera over so y'all can see. Here's my bread machine right over here. How many of y'all, I would love to hear if you guys like making homemade bread. If you make it, tell me what you do. The recipe for the homemade bread is also in the cookbook, so it's in the very back because I know it's one of those recipes that people ask for all the time. So you can grab it, you can order it, or you can print it for free if you'd like to do that. Either way, um, we are not making hardly anything. Like We're really not making anything off the cookbooks that are sold on Amazon. I just wanted you to have a way to have them if you'd like them. Okay, so let me get pull out my recipe for this, which is in the very back. And I'm using this one because I don't want to mess up my nice pretty one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, can y'all see, this is my very old 20 year old um, bread machine. I'm going to add in a cup of warm water. A tablespoon of milk. Two 
tablespoons of oil. I'm using vegetable oil, which is totally fine. And you can just dump everything right in. I think my friend Nicole is going to pop a link in for our bread machines that we like. So if you're curious about which ones we like, this is just an old one I've had forever. You can add in two tablespoons of honey. I'm out of honey this morning because I used it all yesterday, so I'm just using brown sugar. I'm putting in two tablespoons of brown sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and then three cups of all-purpose flour. And what's awesome, what I like to do with this is I mix it Okay, so I make the dough in the bread machine, but I bake the loaf in the oven. And the reason I do that is this is a very old bread machine. It's 21 years, 22 years old. I got it when we first got married. My mom got it for me. So it's really old. So it makes a really ugly little square loaf. So what I do is I set it to the dough setting, and then I bake it in the oven. So we've got our three cups of all-purpose flour. And I hate when you can't get these packets out. You're curious about the glue. Oh, Okay, did you see the glue? Oh, y'all, that's funny. I totally forgot. My daughter was making slime in here this morning. We are not using glue, but I had a, my 10-year-old was made like five huge batches of slime this morning, and I didn't even remember that she left those on the counter. So no, we're not having the glue. Sorry about that. I can't, I didn't even see it. Isn't that funny? Yeah, that's what's up with the glue. She made the best slime this morning. I came down, and it was like the right, the perfect slime texture, you know? Um, she is all about making slime right now, and so she took a big, huge batch of slime this morning to school. I'm sure they're going to love her there, um, which honestly, I didn't even realize she had taken it until school, until I looked around the kitchen, and I thought, I don't see the slime, but I forgot that I didn't see the glue either. So, okay, so now we're adding in a packet of yeast. I'm using Fast Rise yeast, um, I, so I'm using the Kroger brand Fast Rise one. Um, the cheapest time to buy yeast is during um, the holidays, so stock up at Christmas. They're going to have it on sale on Thanksgiving and buy a bunch of yeast, and that way you'll have it. So then all you do is put your thing on. I set mine, I don't know if you can see this. If you look on mine, I have a dough cycle, so I'll set it to the dough cycle, and then I will um, do it that way, and then I'll bake it in the oven. Super easy, so fun. You need the slime recipe. Katie, I will see if she will come on live one day with me, and I've got to come on one day early this week. Maybe she'll come on and show us the slime recipe because it is the best slime. I was so impressed. I had no idea. I think she's been watching YouTube videos. Okay, so now we have our bread done. We have our broccoli cheese soup done. Dinner is done. So let's go ahead and we'll chit chat about any questions y'all have. Um, Deanna says that she or gets her pound packs of Sam, at Sam's of yeast. That's a great idea. Just keep it. You can keep yeast in the freezer. I did not know that, Deanna. Thank you for telling me that. So if you would like to download your totally free Crocktober cookbook so you can have dinner done for the whole month, oh my gosh, it's going to be the same. Chelsea, your parents have the same bread machine. I told you it's been around for a while. Yeah. Um, you don't have to mix it, Sherry. It all, all you do is you jump it all in there and then it will totally take care of it for you. So you just dump it in and then it'll do it for you really, really easy. It's super fast. Um, and like I said, that's why you have a bread machine. So um, the yeast doesn't go bad fast. Awesome. You have the same bread machine too, Nona? A lot of us apparently got this bread machine in like, what was it? 1997? That's when I got mine. So it's been around for a while. Um, the book on Amazon has the same recipes. Um, so here's the book on Amazon if y'all want to see it. I love it. It's beautiful. Um, it is 14... 36 this morning. It was going to be $15.95 and Amazon, we're doing it all through um, a program on Amazon, so we don't have a whole lot of control over it. We really just wanted you to be able to order a copy if you didn't have a printer. But all the recipes are the same. Um, it's a lot prettier, I think, than the PDF. Here, look. Can y'all see that? It's really pretty. Um, how long does the yeast last? I think yeast lasts like a year, so it lasts quite a while. You had the same bread machine, but the gluten-free flour killed it. Oh, no. Okay, here's, let's see. It's got like a little forward. Hang on. Let's sit here. Can y'all see this? This is what the cookbook looks like instead of the other one. Can you use frozen broccoli? I would not use frozen broccoli because if unless you thaw it and really, really drain it, it's going to be really liquidy, and it will add a lot of liquid to your soup. So if you thaw it and you make sure it's really, really thawed, and then also... Um, 
just make sure it's really thawed and drain it really well. You want to drain it really, really well. Does anybody else have thoughts on frozen broccoli and broccoli cheese soup? Let me know what you think. You ordered a couple of them. Thank you so much, Cindy, for ordering them. So this is what it looks like. There's the photoshopped version of me, which, and then there's like a little note for me and some directions. This, this is not included in the Croctober PDF. This is just like little special tips like things like to prevent food from sticking, you can spray your cooking your uh, slow cooker with cooking spray. Just some little tips are included. Oh, Debbie, guys, can I ask you a favor? If you get your books today, would you mind reviewing them on Amazon? I've never sold anything on Amazon, but I think reviews help. So if you don't mind to give it a good review or, well, yeah, don't give it, if you're gonna give it a horrible, horrible review, maybe don't review it, but as long as it's like a decent review or better, that would be awesome. Oh, Debbie, yours are coming today. I think frozen broccoli will get mushy as well, Janice, in the slow cooker. So I probably would go with fresh. Um, you're gonna use, you are gonna use frozen. It may work, I just haven't done it. Um, and you know what you could do with frozen broccoli as well is maybe don't start cooking it at the beginning of the day, maybe add it in a little bit later so it doesn't get quite as mushy. Um, okay, oh, Annette, okay, I'm so glad. There's, so here's the cookbook, all the recipes for both last year, and thank you, Debbie, for reviewing. All the recipes for both last year and this year are all here. Um, I cannot wait. So this is the day we're on today. Here's where we are today. And I actually think this year's book is even a little bit better. I think the recipes from this year are a little better than last year's. So this is the slow cooker broccoli cheese soup. Um, dry the broccoli first. That may help. Oh, Cindy, I'm so glad you're getting yours. Don't forget, guys, if you will share this video, I will give away um, several several cookbooks today. So I'd love for you to give to share it. Okay, there is the slow cooker wraps. We're having those tomorrow. I can't even wait. Oh, Jennifer, I'm so glad you're enjoying Croctober. I think it's so fun too. I'm excited. I felt so organized about my whole home and life. It's amazing how taking care of your home takes care of everything. It's like when you take care of dinner, everything else kind of falls um, for into place. So like yesterday, my laundry was done and my dinner was done and um, I might even make dessert for my family tonight. I think I might make jello. Um, yeah, so, okay, there's, we're gonna have a slow cooker beef taco, slow cooker minestrone soup. Next week, we've got balsamic glazed pork loin on the menu, um, slow cooker taco, chicken taco chili. I love that one. Um, slow cooker open face our learning sandwiches pasta fajol, breakfast casserole, so many great recipes. So yeah, share it so you can get one. You can order it right now. Normally it's $15.95. Um, we set that price just because that was kind of what it took us to print, but to print it, but Amazon dropped it. And since Amazon is doing the printing as well, they made it cheaper. So it's a deal for you today, $14.36 if you'd like a hard copy of the book. Um, so yeah, if you'd like the real thing, this one, I can't even wait to make, slow cooker chicken and gravy. In fact, my husband asked why we didn't have this yesterday. He wanted that one. So Carmen, if you're watching, this is Carmen's recipe and it looks amazing. Yeah, if you don't have a printer, the great, the, having the book is a great option. Slow cooker vegetable tortellini soup, slow cooker barbecue stuffed potatoes, enchiladas. It's going to be a great month. And like I said, you can totally print yours. You can get the book. Whatever you'd rather do. I think this one's a little prettier, um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Definitely let me know. Tell me, oh, oh, oh. And would you do me a huge favor? If you are making dinner, would you take a picture and um, show me your recipe when you make it today? If you have Croctober going, would you make it? I would love that. Oh, Patricia, you said you're making barbecue chicken in the crock pot. I am so glad you had that recipe from last year. Don, I'm so glad the recipes help you. Um, yeah, and somebody said if you're not seeing the videos, if you click the follow button at the end of the video, hopefully you'll get an alert tomorrow and you'll be able to see it. So tomorrow we'll be making the buffalo chicken sliders. They're super easy to make. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Get your dinner done. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.